Well, what's going on guys? Clutch here with your mods in testing for Farming Simulator 19. Guys, we've gotten five new mods, three updated mods of the new mods. All of them are available to all platforms except for one. There's only one that's only for PC and Mac. So we'll, uh, we'll discuss that when we get to it. So these five new mods, let's uh, let's dive into it and take a quick look. Starting here, we have the Acrompe Kipper Bandit 550 trailer. It's a fairly straightforward trailer, guys. Now, it does have a couple options. Well, first of all, what we have here is the extension on the top here. So the base carrying capacity of this trailer is 15,500. With that extension on top, you're gonna to be up to 22,500. Other options involve, of course, all the colors. You can see right now we are in the black. Um, you can change that between, I believe, red and green. There might be some other color there as well, but uh, those are the main colors for it. Of course, the rims have the same options for colors. And this roller up on front here, that has the same options as well. So you can kind of customize this a little bit with the standard crompe colors. The other options, of course, all well, your tires, your wheels. You can change those between Michelin and Trelleborg or standard and wide. Right now we've got the, these are the wide Michelins right now. Cool. So anyways, guys, that there is the Karape Kipper Bandit 550. Right beside that, we have the John Deere 959M Feller Buncher, guys. On the front here, we have the FR24B header, or head, I should say, not header. Um, it's also a John Deere piece of equipment. It's locked on, of course. We can't take these off on these pieces of equipment. Now, I think this is the fourth piece of equipment, forestry equipment we've gotten from John Deere. This one's pretty cool too. These are all great pieces of equipment for forestry. I know you forestry guys are loving this stuff. It's nice to see for sure, but I think we're done now. As far as I can tell, I think we're done with the John Deere forestry equipment. I haven't seen anything else pop up. Let me know if you guys think there's something else that I'm missing that should be in there. Anyways, we'll bounce into the cab here, take a quick look, fire it up. You can see there, that whole head, that head is so big up on the front here. You can see just how massive this thing is. <laughs> Anyways, guys. Uh, there's zero options for this uh, this particular piece of machinery. Same with the rest of the John Deere stuff. It is exactly what it is. This particular one runs for $500,000. So, yeah, it's a little expensive, but it's not the most expensive. So, anyways, that finishes off the John Deere forestry equipment pack, at least, I believe. So, next up, we have a bit of a placeable mod. This is the Roof Green Hall. And, well, the reason it's called that is, of course, because it has a grass roof. Let's jump on top here. There we go. I wish these uh, <laughs> these pillars weren't here. You could ramp off the top of this thing. <laughs> Anyways, uh, large windows down the side, as you can see. And on the front of each, you've got, well, a garage door that goes all the way through. Looks good. I do like these beams, and we'll go inside and look in a second. Um, we've got some tire tracks down the side of the building. I don't know if that's signifying my driving or not, but I'll, I'll take it as that. Um, the one odd thing with this, these doors, you have to go and hit the button to open them. You can't open them from the door itself. And inside you can see, once again, more massive beams and a, and a wooden roof. That looks very cool. I do like the look of that. Uh, over on the side here, you do have a light switch. That controls all the lights in the building. And then on this side here, close that, open it back up. You can see that controls the windows. So you all at the top, uh, the top panes of all the windows open and close with that button. That's all that does. This door here goes to an electrical room that we cannot access. It's in behind here. At least I'm assuming that's an electrical room. <laughs> Anyways, that is the roof green hall, guys. It sells for 150,000 bucks, thirty dollars a day once you have placed it. The last of the new mods is well, the flat map. This is for all platforms. Like I said again, guys, just a large flat open area that can be edited without using the giant's editor. That's about it. There you go, that's the, it, the flat map. All right, so you give that a shot if you like. There is ways of editing this. Without using the Giants Editor, it's a little bit interesting to use so far. I know a couple of us have been talking about this. It's not working quite the way, but it's got 64 areas that are purchasable on this map, and you can edit it, well, without using the Giants Editor, which is kind of the key for, uh, for console, of course. Anyways, let's move along. The last new mod we're talking about today is PC Mac exclusive, guys. That is the additional field info. Now, of course, you're going to have to have your field info option open in your menu that can be turned off. In our bottom right-hand corner of this screen, you can see we have our field info open, but there's three new additions added to it with this mod activated. The first of all is the area of the current field, um, the current land area, so that is the stuff that's not being used by the field itself. 
And last of all, it's the price for, per uh, hectare on this one. So you can see on this one, we currently have 46,000 uh, acres or for, uh, hectares, sorry. And the land area is actually 72. Now you don't see this because it's owned by me. Let's go find one that is owned by somebody else. And there we go. We simply sell off this land. And now you get a price per hectare underneath at the very bottom. So it's $46,566 per hectare on this particular field, which is kind of a big deal to be honest with you. But anyway, so that there guys, that is the additional field info. Now moving on to our mod updates. Starways map has been updated. Added a fuel station uh, trigger in the biogas plant. Added animal loading triggers uh, as well as some models have been improved. So fairly straightforward stuff going on there. The root of DK280W has been updated as well with a number of updates. Uh, fixed some of the sliding issues it was having. Decreased the sale price of all the flatbed bale trailer. Fixed a missing drawbar spring animation. Uh, what extended electric cables? There's been a couple of different graphical changes to this as well. So, just a few updates to the Rudolph DK280. And lastly, the Pottinger of Vitasem 302, which is the Power Harrower and the Cedar, has an update. Now, the only notes on the update says that it is console ready now. Uh, but at the same time, it says it's only available for PC and Mac. So if somebody on one of the other platforms on console, let me know if this is now available to you. I would love to hear about it in the comments below. But that is currently it for your mod hub update for Farming Simulator 19. Not bad, a couple few mods. We'll see what the rest of the week brings. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a like if you did. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not done so. And I will talk with you guys next time. This is Clutch, over and out.